Alright, so right here I've got everything you need to make a fading LED circuit. This circuit will make your LED slowly fade in, then slowly fade out. So, first things first. You're going to need a 555 timer. Pretty common chip. About a 1000 microfarad capacitor. You can use a capacitor with a little bit higher value or a little bit lower value if you want, depending on how fast you want the fading to occur. Obviously an LED, I'm using a blue LED because blue LEDs are awesome. Trin a transistor. Now keep in mind that the transistor I'm using is a 2N222A transistor. If you're using a different transistor, which you most likely are, chances are it might have a different pin layout. You also need about a 150 ohm resistor and roughly a 1200 ohm resistor. As I said before, you can use a slightly higher or lower value capacitor for your fade rate. You can also use a higher or lower resistor to change the fade rate. You can also use a combination of both. So, what you're going to want to do first is pin one of the 555 timer is going to connect to negative side of the battery or ground. Pin 2 is going to connect to the positive end of the capacitor. Pin 3 is going to connect to the 1200 ohm resistor. Again, you can use a different value one if you want to. Slightly higher, slightly lower. If you use a 2 volt high value resistor, your fade rate will be so slow you can't even really see it. So pin 3, 1200 ohm resistor, connects to the positive side of the capacitor. Pin 4 connects to positive. Pin 5 does not connect to anything. Pin 6 connects to the base of the transistor. Pin 6 also connects to the positive side of the capacitor. Pin 7 does not connect to anything, and pin 8 connects to positive. Now the emitter of a transistor connects to positive. Now the collector of the transistor is going to connect to your 150 ohm resistor to the positive end of your LED. Now you can change your va value of your resistor depending on what LED you're using and what voltage source you have, but for mine it's going to be 150 ohm. The negative side of the LED connects to the negative side of the battery. The negative side of the capacitor connects to the negative side of the battery. Alright, now it appears that everything is all set and ready to go. So, I plug it in.
and you should be left with a fading LED. As I said before, you can change the capacitor or this resistor right here to a different value to change the fade rate. But uh, that's it for this video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, you can uh, simply ask. But um, see you guys in the next video.